morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of
If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives.
witnessing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. test labs and control facilities. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. I guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with. And you cut the ponytail. Sell out. What the hell? Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Gordon, I'm busy. Dr. Pelosi, report to Super Cool Laser Lab. Please. Ah, Freeman. Don't you think you should calculate those resonance dampening factors again? Good morning, that Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to oh, find would you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. Big day today, eh, Freeman? The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Good morning, Gordon. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology... Morning, champ. Hello. I trust this morning finds you well. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, Colin? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. Rat, 
some no toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Smug. I'm just better than you. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these... What's up, Doc? Are protected from optical Ready for another rousing day, Freeman? Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli! Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal. 
Yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. (sighs) I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. All displacement modulators were tuned today, weren't they? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. No, no, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely, I just don't think. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. Oh, right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level. Nor how long. Hey, uh, please work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in. Well, no. It's well with an exceptional that Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion. Non-standard specimen.
Listen, I, I tried to warn you. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs> Can't afford to waste time. You'll need me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? We're going the right way. That's right. Child time's over. Oh! 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 Oh!